Okay guys, let's look at question 12. So let's start processing the question. In the triangle PQR, stop right there. PQR, that'll do me fine. P Q R capitals. PR is 10. So do that in any particular way, it doesn't matter what way you depict the angles, just make it look pretty much like an equi equilateral triangle. It shouldn't bother you. We're in the abstract here. We're operating in an abs at an abstract level, hopefully, at higher level maths here at this stage. Okay, so we have 10 centimeters here. We have Q to R is 12 centimeters. Okay, and PQ or the angle at P is 50 degrees. So I want to explain to you pretty quickly now why there's two possible options here. Um, I'm going to turn this situation around where at this side here, I can bring that up a bit, where this side here is is along the um, the x-axis. Okay, I got a f my 50 degree here with 10 rising up this way and I have 12 allowed to go down at either side okay so think about this hypotenuse for a moment and you're going to have 10 sine 50 okay so let's think what is the size of 10 size 50 and how does my 12 compare to it where am I gone uh, 10 sine 50 so that's 7 so 7 or 8, okay? So 12 is clearly longer than it. But there is a problem that would be there. There's no way that can fall both ways. Because if he came this way, he'd have to go... 12 is longer than 10, not shorter than 10. So this angle can't be two angles. I presume they didn't ask me for this angle, though. If we look at it... Ooh. Show that there's only one possible value of Q. Of course there's only one possible value of Q. Because this is larger than this and also we know that there is a value because the this is larger than the hypotenuse than the, the altitude what if this was shorter than the altitude what if we made this three well then it just couldn't it'll be dangling there and it would never get down so we talk about the ambiguous situation but a, 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 a more complete way of thinking of it is breaking up to all the cases in the solutions there's either no solutions and thinking of it this way and what what we have here is we have angle, side, side, and we all know what that spells, okay? So it can make a make you look like an ass, okay? Um, uh, but it can, and sometimes it it can in terms of uh, if you think that there is a uh, to, to, that this creates congruency, it doesn't necessarily, and we see why it doesn't. Some they're not necessarily congruent because of this possibility of two solutions. It's not that simple, so, cause, so as we look for solutions, we see there are sometimes no solutions. There would sometimes be one solution. Can you think about when that would be? Oh, I'm off camera. I'll start again.